1998 Sherry Express cold start problems. This is how I solved my problem with my Chevy Express. It's a 1998 with a 4.3 liter engine. And I'm gonna show you what was giving me the problems with cold starts in the morning or rain or sometimes foggy mornings. It would just give me problems starting it in the morning. Once it started, it would just start the rest of the day with no problem. So eventually I figured out what was wrong with it. And these are the two parts that I replaced. Okay, the first part here is, this is the idle control sensor, throttle body, idle, idle control sensor. This goes in where your throttle body is at. I'm gonna show a di diaphragm of what that, where it's located. It's, uh, it's the part where it says five, six, seven. That's this part right here. And this controls your throttle position. This is an AC Delco part. Looks, this is what it looks like. You're gonna need a T20 screwdriver or a T20 wrench, whatever you wanna call it. To take this out, it's just two screws, and it's located right here where the throttle body is at, and it's this piece you see right there where it says uh, five, six, and seven. Okay. The other thing that was wrong with it, because I did replace this but it still was giving me hard problems starting in. I was getting an engine che uh, check light. So this is the part number to the, to the sensor, to the throttle body, to the throttle position sensor. Uh, let me see if I can focus in here. Uh, there you go. Well, I'm trying to do this with my mobile phone, but that's the part number. And uh, this is what it looks like. The other problem, the other thing I was having a problem with was the intake sensor, which is this right here. And these these two pieces here, this you don't need no tools, it just snaps right in there, you un, undo the plug, unplug it carefully. You see where it has a tip where you lift up and unplug it. This is the part number to that. And they're relatively cheap. Uh, this was like, I think it was like $19 at a, uh, Advanced Auto Part. These are not AC Delco parts, but they do work. And um, this is the other part that I was showing you. There we go now, I'm getting the part number. And this is the, uh, the, the idle throttle body position sensor. And this is, relatively easy to put on. I'm not a mechanic, but uh, that's how I got my truck started with these two pieces right there. Re pretty easy to put on. You don't really need too much mechanical experience. And this part here that I have in my hand, as you see, is right there. Like I said, it comes out with uh, with no tools. You just jiggle it. Sorry about that. You just just start to jiggle it out there till you, it comes out. Unplug it. When you put in these uh, these parts, the sense they they are electrical, you might want to go ahead and disconnect your positive, your negative. I'm sorry, your negative. 
uh, from your battery to make sure you don't short anything out. But uh, my, my truck was giving me a real hard time starting it in cold weather or rainy situations. And uh, these two things here were the ones that were causing me the problem. Everybody was telling me was the mass airflow that cost us 160 something dollars for a cheap one. Um, this this was an original AC Delco part. This was an aftermarket one that they already had replaced. My van has 121,000 miles. It's a 1998 Chevy Express with a 4.3 liter engine. So, like I said, it's real simple to put on and. If you're having problems with your Chevy truck, let it be uh, as long as it's, I guess, a 4.3 liter. It really doesn't make much difference. I don't think there's too much difference in between the years. But, uh, well, this is how I got mine taken care of. Like I said, it's pretty easy to put on there. This is right here where it says five six and seven it's this party right there and like i said it's basically really easy to put on and we just need one tool it's a t20 uh, like an allen wrench t20 and that took care of my problems my truck is starting every day no matter what the weather is so if this has been useful to you and you're able to go ahead and you're having the same problems, you might want to try to go ahead and buy these two parts. It's not going to run you more than $60. It's a lot cheaper than taking it to your local shop. Well, I hope this video was informative. If, if it was, please make, leave a comment below and please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you so much.